Welcome everybody and welcome back to the Creation Station. We're talking about the orchestra and how to make all the ingredients of the orchestra as expressive as possible. The last video uh, that I'm going to link somewhere above there in the corner is dealing with the cello. It's a long, beautiful video, not only about how the cello works in the context of an orchestra, also how to write for it. And that's a video that goes really in depth uh, in regards to everything that has to do with the cello, especially what you can do with all the controllers that are available, how you can make it speak. The same thing we're going to do now with a violin. I'm, as you can look at the screen right over here, uh, we got a plugin called Stradivari Violin, which is an older program, which has no longer in existence, but they have a new one by the same programmers, um, and that is coming from sample modeling. And that is also a really, really good company. They actually have a violin, a viola, and a cello, and the, all three of them are great. But my demo is on my old favorite here. That's the Stradivari violin, and that is no longer in print, so to speak. But I want to make you aware of how you can use it in your recordings. So let's begin with and see what this violin can do. So that is a whole bundle of expressive potential in one plugin. The programming done on this plugin is out of this world. And when I heard it for the first time, I thought, let me see how far I can push this. And I was surprised at every step of the way how this plugin were offered up things that I didn't expect it could do. Out of that came a track called Irish Spirit, which I want to show to you now. Check it out. You're going to just see the screenshot of the plugin playing and you can see the notes scroll by and so forth. Watch what this thing can do. You see what I'm saying? It does things that a master Irish fiddler couldn't do, but it gives the vibration, it gives the energy of it. It's unbelievable. It also has true legato or real legato, uh, meaning that when I play this note here, then I'll press a note following this note very softly. It'll do this. Versus when I play this note and then play the following note with a higher velocity or a little stronger. Versus. Versus. 
And then, uh, as you can see with the controller over here, with the modulation wheel, I'm dialing in a vibrato, which obviously vibrato can't occur during the runs. So you'll no notice me pulling back on the vibrato whenever there's a run. What I absolutely love about it, as you pull the volume pedal down, down at my pedicam, as you can see with my foot, when I pull the volume far back, you hear the sound of the resin coming forward and the more gentler tones and overtone structures of the instruments get revealed. That character change is just super dramatic. The expressive potential of that instrument is just outrageous. So for staccato, I need to use higher velocities. I mean, need I, need I say more? Next thing, the pitch bender. And most Irish fiddlers will do what they call the fall-offs, which is beautiful. Every single instrument in that lineup of great players in a, in a good symphony orchestra can do things on the instrument that these plugins and these virtual instruments have to be able to emulate to a certain degree. I want to say that this violin program is insanely good. It's such a joy to have an instrument that can speak like this because it gives you ideas as to what you can do. You know, if you, you play something into a folk song, for example. forgot to mention, there you have it, it can do double stops. Also, like the cello, this plugin has a beautiful release. Here we go. That's natural sounding. It's uh, an unbelievably realistic instrument. It does not have quite as many of the customizations that you can do on its new on the new follow-up, the violin solo here from Sample Modeling, there you have an unbelievable amount of controllers. See over here, real-time sound shaping, the things you can do, vibrato intensity, vibrato rate, dynamics. The violin solo of uh, Sample Modeling is much darker in sound than this one, so I'm using both, obviously. Sample Modeling's violin solo fits nicely into the context of a uh, chamber orchestra, or even as a solo violin for a solo violin section within an uh, orchestration. But oftentimes I will take a single violin and layer it in with a high, like one of those soaring high string lines because it just adds more humanity and sometimes you like it to be molto vibrato. That's really well done with a smaller section. You can hear that better. So there you have it. That's the plugin. It does things that I didn't think plugins were capable of, but it has everything to do with the utilization of this advanced scripting language that Contact is capable of. So to me, there is no question that any serious producer nowadays, especially if you're not only working in rap or, or beat-oriented music or EDM, if you play anything that's old school as R&B or pop music, there's no question in my mind that you have to have Contact because it is the flagship of all my productions right now that, I, um, that I've used over the years. If your intention is to create 
very expressive orchestras, that is the level of expressiveness we need to have in order to have these orchestras really being able to emote, to swell up and sound realistic as they do, you know, crescendos, decrescendos, staccatos, marcados. We're going to talk about all this as we move through each individual instrument before we get to the full orchestra. And we're going to learn a lot of things about the expressiveness of these things along the way. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel out. Uh, we want to be able to bring you a lot more of these kinds of videos that just share the, the, the pure excitement that working with these plugins do. Because, you know, every time during the process of creating a, a string orchestra or a, even a chamber section or anything that fits in the song or a solo violin has me leaning back at some point. I lean between the speakers here, my lovely Dyn Audios, and I'm going like, wow. There's no waiting. I do not have to call anybody in. And this is in the, with the greatest respect for my instrumentalist friends who I frequently hire. When I can create an, an orchestra, like a vibrant living entity right in front of me here, it's a very intimate affair with the instruments. And it's an incredibly enjoyable thing to do. It's a, it, it, oftentimes, I'll let's sit here, listen back to something, I'll start crying. It is absolutely an amazing thing to be able to harness that power that comes from these instruments into this large body called a symphony orchestra. It's incredible. It's so much fun to do. So, like I said, please hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, help us out by supporting the channel. We want to bring you a lot, lot more of these videos. Uh, next up are the brass instruments like trumpet and flugelhorn unbelievable flugelhorn also coming from these companies that are used in every single one of the orchestral productions that I do. I'm going to play just a few more snippets. That's it from the Creation Station. Today we covered the violin. Please stop by the website and take a look around. There's a lot of sound examples where these instruments were used. So stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, this is Stefan Oberoff signing out from the Creation Station. Thank you and take care and stay creative. <laughs>